Hello guys, so it's been a while since I started making any videos lately Yeah, as usual, I'm just busy So, yeah Hmm, what are we gonna do today? Today is Monday, it's not a good day School Alright, I'm gonna teach you something real cool I'm gonna teach you how to create Those picture with those water droplet things Like a, you have a, you have a bowl I think a fill, fill with water and then water droplets coming down and then you take the picture of the water coming up that one first thing you're gonna need if you don't have an external flash you can use your built-in flash it's fine but it would be better if you use this kind of flash external flash now the thing is a uh, transmitter and receiver if you don't have it just use a simple cord or you can just simply use your flash to fire this up all right so basically that's it I'm gonna just go there and then just show you how it's done all right so here we are in the bathroom I'm gonna show you how to shoot those water freezing drop things First of all, you need your sink to be full, filled. If you don't have the sink, you can use a simple bowl to do this. And also, you need your this thing. I don't want to call that. All right. So after that, what you need is your flash. The reason why the flash is pointing over there instead of over here at the water, because the flash can create reflections that can be shown on the water itself, and we don't want that to happen. At least not that much. So we're basically putting this over there. So it's gonna reflect from the wall to here. If you don't have a wall on this side, you can use something like paper, a piece of paper, and cover it over here. Over here, or have a frame hold it, I don't know, which is cool. Or you can have base. Yeah, I guess that's all. Next thing you'll need is to have this triggered wirelessly, or if you have a cable, you can do that, or if you have flash on your camera that can trigger wireless, you can do that too. Obviously if you have a wireless thing, you also need to have another wireless thing over here, which I have right there. So now the tip on doing this, you can use your finger, I don't know, but then I use my finger, try, okay just get the water drop like that. Now you can set this camera on a tripod of course. Because I don't have a second track bottom, you just hold it. Now you just zoom it in to the place where it's dropping, and then you're gonna focus it right there. Okay, I'm gonna show you with the help of the flash what's gonna happen. Okay, I'm just focusing right there. Okay. Now you see that? Now if that picture is taken. Then you have the water freezing right there and the water coming out of it. I'll show you at the end. First, I'm going to just do it one more time. Zoom it in, focus, focus, focus. Just like that, you can see. Now, uh, if you have a great, you should have a great time on this, so you just have to give a couple of try. And then, if you get used to it, then you're good. And remember to drain the water. Okay, uh, yeah, basically that's all. So you'll need a flash, or you can have a direct flash from the camera right there. Uh, you need the sink, some water, some time, practice. That doesn't sound good. Okay, so that's what you need actually. Um, yeah, so that's the tutorial on how to shoot stopping waters on the sink. Enjoy, peace out.